So we end up with this final method that deletes an element, in this case, at position 4. So the for loop goes from position 4 to the second last element in the list, and it copies every next element into position x. So the element at position 5 is typically copied into 4, element 6 into 5, etc. Until we've copied the last element into the second last position, number of elements minus 2. And then after the loop, we decrement number of elements, so there is now one less element in the array. Okay, so let's use this as an example of an array. It has eight elements, therefore number of elements is eight. It, we want to delete the element at position four. So when we're done with this uh, method, the 17 should not be in the array anymore. Just look again at the parameters uh, um, for the, this method. We've got the list, then number of elements, which is reference, and the position, which is an integer. Okay, so we want to delete the element at position 4 in the array. In order to do that, we want to move all the elements to its right one step left. So the elements 29, 52, and 33 will each be moved one to the left. The other way of looking at it is that the destination positions of those three elements are 4, 5, and 6. So 29 will be copied to 4, 52 to 5, and 33 to 6. So we will start by at position 4, which is pause. That's the first destination position. And what is the last destination position? Notice that 33 is at position 7, which is number of elements minus 1. And it will be copied to position 6, which is number of elements minus 2. So notice what happens in our for loop. It starts at pos, the first destination position, in this case 4. And it stops at number of elements minus 2, the last destination position of an element being moved. And then it simply says, move the next element into the destination position. So when x is 4, it takes the element from position 5 and copies it into 4, etc. until it copies the element lastly from position 7 into position 6. So once we've copied the three elements into positions 4, 5, and 6, the question mark is now we still have a duplicate of 33 at position 7. Uh, what do we do to get rid of that 33? Notice that at, after the for loop we make number of elements minus 1, so we decrement number of elements. So after this loop the number of elements will now be 7, uh, and the last element should be at position 6. To show that you don't need to worry about that last 33 at position 7, look in the top left hand corner on the typical for loop that we use to traverse an array, to go through the elements of an array. Remember at this stage the number of elements is now 7. Therefore the last element would be at position 6, and the for loop goes from position 0 to position 6. So although the last 33 is still in position 7, when we normally traverse the array, it will never be visited. So it will be as if it does not exist anymore. So this is then what the final delete element method would look like to recover, to just revisit it. We say, say we want to delete the element at position pause. Our for loop always goes from position pause to the second last position, that's number of elements minus 2. And then we simply start copying elements into x from the next element. So list x is assigned to list x plus 1. That would be to move all the elements from pos one step left in order to get rid of the one at pos. And then finally we have one element less.